This one is a tough one. Yeah, tough one. When I stopped running, I was ranked number four in the world. I did not plan to be a full-time coach. I'm privileged to be the coach of Elliot Kipchoge and Geoffrey Kamoror, among others. Running is not an individual sport. We see it as a team sport because coming together, you bring the best out of people. So it's like competition, competition. For me to achieve what coaching should be, I need to have total trust between me and the athlete. Talent is a shell. Integrity, teamwork, good mental strength. Those are the things that you would want to see. But some of these things, you build a culture within them. And that culture is practiced here. Now you're entering the place where the athletes are staying. Let's go. This camp started as a small idea to develop young talents. Now we've grown. We've had so many successful stories coming out of the setup. These are ladies' quarters and these are male quarters. This is where nature is. You can dream. You can set your goals here. You can see so many shoes. This is where they cook. This is where the athletes eat their meals. If you see around here, we don't have workers. You know, maybe the cooks only. And then the rest is taken care of by the athletes. You do self-development by giving them tasks that puts them in position of responsibility. And that self-confidence gives you the connection between the mind and the body that controls the body to the point whereby the mind is ahead of the body. I saw that young talents disappeared. Now we have all athletes around. So the senior athletes are playing the role of mentorship. These guys are looking for vitamin D. <laughs> the world should know these people. This guy won world cross country champion. This guy two times world champion. I don't know, I cannot count the, the titles of Elliot. The greatest achievement in having this setup is not the, the medals and the records they break. It's the human change that you see in an individual. This one is a tough one. Yeah, tough one. I need time to talk about this one. I think you can say a happy moment. You know, it reminds you of where you have come from. We are not coaching only. We, you know, we want to see that human being come out, out of here, out of Kenya, and touch the lives of other people, the way we have had other people touch our lives. I did not plan to be a full-time coach, but I wanted to give back to the sport that gave me so much. <laughs>